Hi guys, it's Michelle here again from the library. Um, I'm here with my cool green screen kit. I know you can see behind me there's a picture. Well, look it. We can move it. This is one of the awesome green screen kits that Southeast provides in their Makerspace catalog. So because of all the restrictions right now, of course, we, you can't come in the branch and use it. But hopefully when things open up soon, you know, you can come in, we can make some cool pictures, make some cool videos. You could be a weathercaster, you could be out in space, you could be under the sea even. It's really, really wicked. So because you can't come in, I thought, how can I use this? And of course, story time, duh. So today's story is The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carle. Now, some of you may have picked up the uh, take and make programming kits that I made up, but some of you might just be here for the show. So. Whatever, I hope that you guys enjoy. So here we go. It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then, a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're mine, all mine, said Green the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight me for them? If you insist, answered the friendly ladybug sweetly. It looked the other bug straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Well, then why don't you go pick on someone bigger? I'll do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. It puffed up and it flew off. At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. You want to fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. At seven o'clock, it met a stag beetle. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. You want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and he flew off. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, you want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with its long front legs. Uh, oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and he flew off. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, you want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Uh, oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and he flew off. At 10 o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, you want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching out its claws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and he flew off. At 11 o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, you want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Oh, uh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and he flew off. At 12 noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, you want to fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after lunch. Oh, uh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and he flew off. At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, you want to fight? If you insist, said the hyena, laughing eerily and showing its teeth. Oh, uh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and he flew off. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey, you said the grouchy ladybug. You want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla beating its chest. Oh, uh, uh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and he flew off. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. You want to fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Oh, uh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and he flew off. At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, you want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusks. 
Oh, uh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. You want to fight? But the whale didn't answer at all. Uh, you're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug as he flew off. <clears throat> At 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale's flippers, Hey, you, you want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At 5.30, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's fin, Hey, you, you want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At a quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, Hey, you, you want to fight? And the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug such a slap that it flew across the sea and across the land. And at six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived right back where it had started from. Ah, here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There are still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, Thank you, said the wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. Soon all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You're welcome, answered both ladybugs, and they went to sleep. The fireflies who had been sleeping all day came out to dance around the moon. The end. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that book. Um, that little ladybug, he needs a lesson in sharing, I think, and maybe some kindness tips too. Hope you guys have a great day. Hope you guys enjoyed the story and that all of you that did the craft, I hope that you have a fun time doing it and feel free to send pictures of your finished crafts and let me see how you did. All right, bye.